So all the trenches are dug. We start here with the dog bowl, the end of the trench. That will come from the neighbor's yard. Scoot all the way along. Let's see, Richard. Hey, what's up? Got a catch basin right next to the crepe myrtle at the corner of the house. He should be catching a good bit of water. That water will turn, go over some Time Warner cable lines right here and here. There's also one around where Richard is right now. Go over that sprinkler, sprinkler system, come along, meet Dad. Go all the way around, and at this Y connection, that Y connection goes up and comes to and connects to the downspout of the house at the edge of the master bedroom. So they got a connection there which goes into a catch basin. Go a little bit further and you got another wire connection that heads over to the other downspout to the side of the fireplace. All that water is going to be flowing straight down to an another catch basin. It's kind of in line with the tree in the shed and the in the one side of the patio and you can see that, that that should hopefully catch some of the water in this area next to this fence as it goes continues and heads towards the fence we see this sprinkler servo bucket and there's a little bit of piping right there you can see that um, for reference the sprinkler system these two there's two uh, that guy right there and that guy right there, that's a where the sprinkler pipes go across. And then they end up turning way at the end or in the middle, going up to all the different sections. Anyway, back to the catch basins. Uh, right here next to this crate merle on the fence, got one that was existing already that we had to uncover. And then it goes, the hose goes down and then kind of comes back up and reaches underneath the railroad tie to a catch basin there. That one continues across, around to the side of the yard. Boom, look at that guy, another catch basin uh, right there. We'll have to dig around and clear that out. But that guy is right next to the fence and the uh, sprinkler head that's right there. So that'll be great, now we can, now all that water can route there. And then back to the original catch basins, which are here. Uh, Real quick, let me interject, I forgot about something. The Y, the split is about two, about three feet from this catch basin. So there's a Y right here where it splits off into the neighbor's yard that way. And then it all connects into the main line, which is in between the two houses. There's one catch basin. Here's another one right next to the air conditioner. A third, right next to the neighbor's flower bed, and then we go all the way out, past the water meter, and come out of come out of the house. And it's right between the two mailboxes. That whole thing travels all the way down there, and there's a sewer drain at the end of the line, way back there. There we go. That's everything.